All right, so what I'm going to attempt to answer today, <laughs> to my own satisfaction, is if I can take my hard drive from my old PC, put it into my new old PC, and if it'll boot. So I got Windows 10. It was on a, uh, a, a Dell, and, and it was running a, what was it? It was a, a i5-2320, if that matters. But I have my SSD card, and I need, I need this SSD card for my, my new setup here. So, I have that in there. I'm also, the second part is gonna be if, uh, if my storage drive just works right away. But I'm just gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna start with the boot drive, and we need to get that hooked up on the back side. All right, please don't make fun of my cable management when I uh, assembled this thing. It was my first time, and I guess we can zoom in on this, yeah. Okay, so this is the original boot drive. I'm gonna take the power, and I'm gonna take the plug, and uh, I'm going to, so this is my, my six gig SATA port. We're gonna put that into the drive there, and then we're gonna Give it power. Okay, moment of truth. Will it boot from a different computer's boot drive? It's doing something. Alright, it's attempting to boot Windows. Getting device ready. Okay, so it's getting the device ready. So it's, uh, I mean, it's connected to the internet. So I assume it's figuring out the, uh, the, the, the drivers and whatnot that it needs. The internet, the internet says this is the quick and dirty way to use your computer. Uh oh, the monitor's going to sleep, so I guess it's identifying the graphics card and resetting the uh, whatever. Okay. So it appears to be working. The uh, resolution is all funky because it doesn't have the drivers for the uh, Thing. The desktop is unavailable. If the location on this PC, make sure the device drive is connected. Uh, okay, so all my desktop apps aren't here. Let's go to File Explorer. So it's got, okay, yeah, so it still has, okay, so you could access your data. So this is a video I edited for my, my daughter's channel. Uh, she has a gaming channel that we're starting. We played Teddy on Roblox, and so, so that's still there. Let's just, let's just zoom in. I'm gonna go ahead and back that up. All right, so the resolution it just fixed itself off camera. Uh, so, so it, it uploaded the, the the drivers for the GPU, I guess. So it's looking more normal. Now that's. Cool. So I'm just transferring some files off of this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fresh install and uh, get this running again. But okay, I, I realize why almost none of my programs are here, or none of my programs are here. Most of my programs I had installed on the second drive just to save space on the SSD. All right. So what I'm trying to do here is I, I uh, you know, I backed up everything I want off this computer. But I want to do the fresh start, and the fresh start uh, doesn't give me the option of the fresh start. So the fresh start is just it reinstalls Windows. So it might be because the product key is wrong. So I'm going to try changing the product key. So I've done a few things. So I, 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 I bought a used computer from somebody, and I put the guts in a different case, and then I peeled off the, uh, the Windows product key sticker and a and I taped it onto this case on the back side. So I still have the product key. So let's see if that works. Okay, so I've just entered the product key. Uh, it's thinking about it. Activate Windows. You get the best experience. Okay, let's activate Windows. So I do believe it is accepting that product key. That's nice. Oh, so slow. Windows is activated! We've activated this copy of Windows. Okay, well that's neat. 
Okay, so, uh, the, swapping the hard drive and using the, the product key on the old, uh, on, on this computer on the old hard drive gives me a licensed copy of Windows. So that's pretty cool. But I just want to start over because everyone says that starting over is the best way to do it. Uh, well, hell. Oh man, I might be too stupid to know how to do a fresh start. Well, you know, maybe I should just see if this version of Windows works okay before I, I do all this. I can always do this. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and hook up the second hard drive that has all the program files and see if everything just comes back to life. That will be cool. Alright, on the back side of my computer again. And then this second drive right here was my, my storage drive. We'll go ahead and connect that. Use that one. Okay, so the second drive is now plugged in. Oh, cable management's getting a little bit crazy. Let's power it back on. Fire it up, see what happens. Okay, it's telling me, now that I've hooked up the second drive, it says reboot and select proper boot drive or insert boot media and selected boot device and press key. So, Need to reboot. Okay, so I was spamming the delete key. I'm now in the BIOS. BIOS. Okay, let's go over here to boot. Uh, boot dev, uh, device priority. Removable device. Oh my god. Device. Oh my god. Now I'm too stupid to figure this out. Oh no. Boot setting configuration. Oh no. Okay, I'm in over my head. It's time to Google. I think I got it figured out. So, my hard disk, uh, the first drive, okay, so my 3000 or my 3 terabyte drive, let's just go ahead and move, uh, move that around so the 200. 56 gigabyte uh, uh, SSD is on top. And then we'll go back and then we'll go boot priority. Um, first drive should boot from the 256 one. Then the second boot priority will boot. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's, let's just F10 it and we're going to. Oops. Okay, so F10, we will. Uh, save configuration and exit now. Let's see if that will boot us the right way. Monitor is sleepy. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's all blurry. Ugh. Out of focus. Come on. Okay, that blurry thing that you saw. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We're in Windows again, boy. What? what? Okay. Uh, my secret PIN number, don't you dare look. Hell yeah. And look, all my programs are here again, with both drives installed. So I had everything on, on the second drive, so, you know. So my computer is now the new computer. My old computer is over here on the new computer. Everything's working, allegedly. User benchmark, let's just, uh, let's just run a user benchmark real quick. Hopefully we'll get a decent score off of the function of this uh, SSD here. I want to. I want to try to build a workstation that can handle some sort of DaVinci Resolve editing. Because I'm. I don't have a 4K camera, but I think my kids' gameplay is in 4K. So if I could edit that, that would be really something. Although <laughs> Roblox and Minecraft in 4K is kind of ridiculous sentiment, but, you know. Let me go ahead and take a screenshot, uh, print screen, and I'll edit that into the video. But what we have is reasonable SSD score. Okay, so I got a reasonable SSD score. I'm going to zoom, zoom in a little. Let's see if we can. We can't see how reasonable this is. Okay, so we got a reasonable SSD score. My, uh, 
My i7 has performed above expectations. That's nice. Uh, my NVIDIA GTX 570 is performing way above expectations. Well, that's stellar. My crucial SSD is way below expectations. What does that mean? Okay. And then the uh, the Seagate Barracuda is performing above expectations. That's interesting. 106%. Whoa. Alright, I've got this thing going pretty good now. I've got all the drivers updated. It looks good. It runs good most of the time. But I've had some issues. Twice now. Uh, blue screen of death. You know, once was on, you know, had too many Chrome tabs open and Windows crashed. Uh, another time I was using the, uh, the Elgato screen recorder and it went to hell. Uh, and then I've had some weird issues with it uh, not going uh, to sleep all the way and then not waking up from sleep. I've had a couple times where the screen just was blinking white. It'd be, you'd see this, then it'd go white, see this, it'd go white. And the internet says it's driver issues. But that's, that's what they're, they're warning you about. When, when you search, you know, can I put my old hard drive in my computer and not, you know, reinstall Windows? And they're like, well, you can, but it's going to be problematic, blah, blah, blah. So, so yeah, I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of functional, but it always quits at a bad time. So I have no choice, I think, uh, but to, to do it the way you're supposed to and reinstall Windows, uh, fresh install, and, you know, redo all my, my uh, programs and stuff after the fact. And I'm just going to do uh, the USB style uh, install. But that's going to be a different video. But here, we proved it. You can totally take your hard drive out of a different computer, put it in another computer, and uh, get Windows to run and do what you want, recover files or whatever in a, in a familiar manner. Dudes. So I'm about to edit the video that you're watching right now, and I just want to show you. I do indeed have DaVinci Resolve, uh, I gotta check it though, 12.5 running on this computer with this old GTX 570. Turns out you can download all the old uh, DaVinci Resolve software uh, and, and run it on your outdated uh, stuff, you know. Uh, so that's good because I still don't have uh, a new hard uh, a new hard drive. I still haven't found a new uh, graphics card. I have been playing the oh god, what is it the 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 New Egg Shuffle. I've been playing that game, but you know I'm not winning. But anyways, that's just last last little tidbit here. I'm not super stupid thinking I can run DaVinci Resolve 18 or something on this GTX. 570 but yeah okay anyways thanks for watching and uh, if, if if you like this video uh, maybe subscribe to the channel you know I haven't really done much computer stuff because as you can see I'm a I'm a idiot but that's besides the point please uh, support me with a thumbs up or something All right bye for real